You happen to remember Panera Bread's charged lemonade? That's what they call it. Well, another type of energy drink launched today. There's a look at what appears to be the three flavors. This is from Starbucks. The new launch comes about a month or so after Panera actually eliminated their charged lemonade from their menu. That was because they had seen several lawsuits claiming that death or irreversible health complications were the result of the product. Starbucks says, though, for the record, their iced energy drinks only come in the venti size. That would be 20 fluid ounces. Starbucks says they contain between 180 and 205 milligrams of caffeine. Compared to Panera's discontinued drink, it's under the 260 milligrams that would come with their 20 ounce drink when they had it. But ultimately, we wonder how much caffeine is too much caffeine? Well, for many people, we know you get your caffeine from coffee, right? Our Nicole Baker recently caught up with Dr. Carol Welloway at Baylor Scott and White to talk about caffeine intoxication. When you hear caffeine intoxication, I think a lot of people's minds go, uh oh, I drink a lot of coffee, or I know that this could be me. What are we looking for? What does that mean? So a good amount is probably zero. <laughs> okay. Uh, but if you're going to drink, you want to drink less than 400 milligrams. So that's usually four to five cups of just coffee. But if you're drinking something with all the extra espresso, it could be just two cups a day. Caffeine intoxication is very rare, and it being reported is even more rare. It doesn't happen very often. Um, and oftentimes, it's not really the coffee that's the culprit. Mm. So it is these caffeine supplements, the powders, the tablets, that's where we're seeing people get into a lot of trouble. So if you're starting to feel jittery, you should back off. Okay. That is a sign that you're exactly, as you said, over caffeinated. Intoxication is that next level, headaches, diarrhea, um, and can lead to even heart issues.